Product review. <clears throat> Got myself a new pair of hiking shoes. And this brand is Keen. Now, this was recommended to me a couple years ago. Previous pair I had. Mysteriously, the part of them split. Amongst all the hiking shoes out there, uh, I choose Keen in particular because I've got wide feet and it's very uncomfortable when you're hiking and you got the sides of those hiking boots pressing into your feet. It's the worst. And uh, also then you're at risk of having blisters form and you feel like your feet are gonna fall off from lack of blood circulation. So, new pair. I guess this is their third generation for uh, this same model, I guess you could say, of shoe. And it looks like, compared to the last shoe I have, which actually, you know what? <clears throat> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab the previous pair, just for comparison. Be right back. Found, <clears throat> found my coffee while I was out there. Just uh, nicely placed there. <clears throat> So, this is the old pair, and one of them, and this is probably due to age and also I'm um, a terrible owner, I left these in my car a lot after perhaps they might get wet or they're worn from a hike, and on occasion there might have been some mold that would show up on there, but take a look at this rip that showed up. This is the one of the older shoes, so grab the other shoe here. Compare the two. I mean, it looks like they're now using more uh, rubbers or plastics on this. This used to be straight leather. Anybody want a beat up pair of uh, hiking boots? We want to sell them for a hundred bucks. But anyway, so gnarly tread they got here. Now another thing <clears throat> that they improved, I think, is this. I don't know if this was standard or what in the previous model, because if I recall, they had more than one option where you could choose if you wanted it, you know, no ankle support or some ankle support, and this might be just standard now, but in any case, um, yeah, every, I mean, I, these old shoes, I really beat up. They, they've gone through a lot going through creeks, rocks, or uh, hot and frozen environments. Yeah, I just want to show a few things. Um, kind of showcase and I'll explain in the background uh, some specs about these shoes. Most commonly you'll find these shoes showing up at an REI store, coming in at two pounds. I made the convenient option of ordering them online and they came within a couple of days. A lot of rubber is built into these boots and they have very good support on the ankles. The front end of these boots are built extremely tough to be able to take in a few shanks from rough surfaces or pointy rocks, keeping those feet well protected. My favorite feature on these boots is that they are fully waterproof. You'll be able to trek through any stream or creek and get that foot fully submerged and your feet will stay dry. My fiance bought these shoes. As tough as these boots are, $145 isn't that bad of a price for what you get here. Seeing how rugged these shoes are and how tough they can be, I would easily rate these 5 out of 5. So yeah, some good specs on these shoes. Uh, personal experience, I always recommend these for uh, anybody that's got white feet, but also because it's about the only brand I ever knew to have ever since I started hiking. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, uh, and perhaps it was a little bit insightful to see uh, how to how these are in use. Now, what brand of hiking shoe do you guys use? Uh, as I just mentioned, I'm uh, Keen. That's my brand that I use. Leave a like, get those algorithms working, get that goal of reaching a thousand subscribers someday. Well, maybe someday in a few years, a million subscribers, that'd be even cooler. Do this full time for you. And actually to think, if I had a budget I could work with, that uh, I could actually make a living off of this and you know, really start cranking out, uh, put some extra time into these videos. Till next time, next review I might, I think it's gonna be a beer, uh, there's a, um, brand of beer 
that I always enjoy drinking just because of uh, the name it has. It's by Tambro Brewing Trail Beer. So there'll be a video coming up on that too. Hopefully soon. See you around.